night on Nessun. Alongside Christine Huber, I'm Justin Galanti. Thrilled to be with you. Christine, tonight the Yale Bulldogs and Dartmouth Big Green do battle in what is a huge match, right? Third Ivy League match out of the year. You only get seven of them, and for Dartmouth, they're the only 2-0 team in the league right now. If they can win, it'll be big-time separation for them, but if Princeton at Penn, one at home, one on the road, Dartmouth 2-0. They beat Penn at home and beat to be a real statement to go on the road and get results against Princeton like they already did and against Yale tonight, which they hope to. But we'll see. It's a very young team on the Dartmouth side. It's a young Yale team, but they are both playing really well right now. Yeah. And here, which will be hosted by the number one seed. Diego Zaffin. And he has uh, been outstanding for Dartmouth. He has scored a goal in each of the last three matches he's played in. And another. Wow, oh. that's a red. A straight red. Oh, my goodness. Dartmouth will be a man down the rest of the night. The Dartmouth sideline is, is not going to like this at all. Broken ankle right there. So everyone mark that down. Or at Maine takes the red card in the 25th minute. And we'll see how that affects the rest of the night. Allowed him to play the advantage Yeah, there. as long as he signals that and he tells the players, hey, I see it, I see what's going on, you have possession, you have it in a... Good first touch there by Rogers, but Fenton recovered, tried to win the ball, it took an odd deflection, and it results in a Yale throw. The other way, Lagos with an opportunity here. Eric Lagos trying to get to that left foot, but it's blocked away by Unu for Dartmouth. Manya, good touch for Sam Harshi. What a nice recovery by Alexi Uno, another one of those freshmen for Dartmouth. He's out of Paris, France, had an assist against Penn in the last Ivy League match. Left foot now. Rogers puts it in on Kristen Uno! And it's in! How good is that? And we talk about the bend that he has on that ball. And I tell you, you're working on your tactical uh, setups. Here's Farouz working his way in. Good recovery by Uno for Dartmouth. And at least sends it into the corner. Through. Harshi back in. Headed away by Uno. Knocking on the door and they were getting corner kicks. Rogers tried to pop that forward for Lagos, but he couldn't find it on the way in. Just over eight minutes gone by in half number two. Rogers' goal from the 39th minute, still holding up for Yale. Throw here for the big green. And here it is, right? Here's that direct ball it's a good down one. behind Neil's defense. <laughs> Pretty heavy ball headed back by, by Unu. Uno again. Prestis sends it away. Part of this Yale Dartmouth doubleheader on Nesson. Yale trying to hold on for 30 more minutes and complete the football men's soccer sweep. Harshi making the long run. Still Sam Harshi. And he goes down. Didn't look like much contact. And we continue to play. That was well defended by Alexi Uno. Dominant after losing such key factors. Ali trying to get to this. And it's in. Yassin Ali. His first career goal might be the dagger. And this is just a complete hustle play, just staying with the ball. An unfortunate deflection in there off Chris Hatulu, but. Is that, that Yasin Ali just scored his first goal of his career? Christine, prior to tonight, he had played. 15 minutes all season and right 
I was down there in the production room and wound up running into Ray Reed down here, just kind of supporting him. Six at 4 0 and 2. All that one minute away. And we all know, you know, what makes Quops it into the air. Officially, no more unbeaten and untied teams in the Ivy League. Yale knocks off Dartmouth 2 0. A huge three points at home for the Bulldogs. And this is just showing the parody of the Ivy League this year. I mean,